Welcome to be a 3D printing channel where we talk about everything you need to know to become a better 3D printer. Today we're going to be in Bamboo Studio looking at how to add fuzzy skin to any of your 3D prints. Now, you can do this in every slicer that I've used, whether that's Prusa or Cura. I've used the fuzzy skin in both of them. And in Bamboo Studio, it's just the same. You just have to know where to find the settings. So for this video, we have a very, very simple Easter egg that I designed, and I'm gonna turn this into a dragon egg using fuzzy skin. So if I were to just slice this plate, I would get something that looks like this. And I'm gonna pull this up. And looks like your normal slice. I can look through the layers. Nothing super fancy going on here. Just your very, very simple egg. It looks like this will take two hours and 33 minutes total time to get this done. So let's go back and add in the fuzzy skin. So I'm going to go back to this prepare tab and I'm going to leave everything else the same other than coming to our others tab and down to fuzzy skin. The options that we have here are none which we're on now contour contour and holes and all walls now 95 percent of the time contour is what you're going to want to use this is just the outside whereas all walls is going to be outside and inside walls and contour and holes is going to do all of the outside and then any holes that you have it will do the inside of those holes so for this project, I'm just going to use contour and these are your settings for the thickness and how far it's moving off of the original shell or that outside layer. So right now we're moving at 0.8 millimeters and I highly recommend using the default, seeing what it looks like and then increasing it from there because you can get some really crazy results as you'll see here in just a second when I'm playing around with that. So I'm gonna jump over and slice this. As you can see with fuzzy skin on here, we get a little bit different view. It only adds about 15 to 20 minutes to this print. And it, it, it doesn't look a whole lot different in here, but let's jump into an actual view and zoom in. And you'll see that it does look like we've got some just bumps that it's going to add up in that external layer. And that's going to give you that textured approach that I'm looking for, especially as I'm trying to turn these into a dragon egg. Now I'm going to change the thickness and the point distance a little bit here. So I'm going to change this to two millimeters and I'm going to change this to point five and we're going to slice this and see how different it looks. Okay. So time doesn't really change and we are, let's put this up out of the way. <clears throat> going to be able to see that we actually have some issues here with overhang support because we've come out so far and we're going to get a really, really textured look here. The problem I have when I make it extremely textured or even more than this should be okay to print this is you start to lose the integrity of the shell on the outside and it starts to get a little bit brittle and want to break away. So I usually won't go any more than two millimeters, uh, maybe out to 0.6 or 0.7 at the very, very most to get a really good result. I'm going to move this back to 0.8 and 0.3 and we will slice it, send it to the printer and I'll show you the results. As always, thanks for sticking around to the end. Let me know what we should do next in the comments. Please consider liking and subscribing and sharing this video with anyone you think would like it. We'll see you next time.